OK, Mark's got a family fave on the menu today, so let's head over to the Mastercraft Kitchen. Did you have a good weekend, Mark? Great weekend, and we've got a great dish for you today. We've got beef stroganoff. So traditional, uh, traditionally, it's uh, a Russian dish, but we're uh, we're going to more of the German style on this dish because we've got the addition of gherkins, and we're making a potato roasty as well. So really simple, great ingredients in there. We've got beautiful sirloin steak, mushrooms, gherkins. It's going to be creamy. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Great for this cold weather. But first job, we need to make the roasty. So I've already um, parboiled these potatoes. So basically salted boiling water just until the par cooks. So they're still hard and raw in the center. So I leave the skin on and then peel them after. And then we're just going to grate them. So as you grate them, you can sort of see, you know, you're getting all these nice strands. But if you touch it, it's quite sticky. So you've got all the starch in there and that's going to help it stick together. Just going to season that with a little bit of onion. So just chop that and then some salt and pepper. And then we're going to cook it in some duck fat just to make it taste better. And remember, this is the duck fat which we, um, we saved from cooking the ducks a couple of weeks back. So you're not wasting anything. So a little bit of salt and pepper into the potato. Give it a good mix. We'll pop the fat in there. Get your pan warm. So using a nice non-stick pan. And it's entirely up to you now. Once you've got the mix, you can make individual ones or you can make just one giant one. Uh, serve it on a big platter and then you can all help yourself or you can make a giant one and then you can cut it like a, a little bit like a tortilla. So make sure it's all seasoned and stirred. And then pop it in. And just give it a good flatten down now. You can see all that potato is going to start sticking to each other. Get it nice and even so it cooks nice and evenly. Get a nice colour on it, deep golden brown colour, so it's nice and crispy. We'll flip it over, do the same on the other side, and then it will be ready. Because remember, your potatoes are par cooked. So I'll come back a little bit later, and we'll finish the whole dish, and uh, the audience might even get to try some today. Yes, I'm trying to learn from Mark, because quite often when I make a beef stroganoff, it's usually from a packet. So we're making the whole... Unbelievable. Oh, oh you said. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, that's why you're here. Um, so we all love a good beef stroganoff, and you're making everything from scratch. What yeah, are we up to? exactly. I mean, it's so simple. We've got the ingredients here, and we're just going to go through in stages. So I'm going to show you now. Um, I'm going to cook the beef first. So we've right. got sirloin, sirloin today. So you've got a beautiful fat cap on there. If you were going to do a Sunday roast and roast it, leave that on. But because we're doing a stroganoff, we don't want that fat on there. So we're just going to take that fat off. Okay, good tip. Okay, so it's it's nice and lean, and because we're using sirloin, just going to cut it in half and just do it into nice thin strips. This is not going to take long to cook at all. So I want to get a really hot pan. So this pan's been warming up for quite a while now. And I'm going to fry it in a little bit of oil. OK, so get the oil hot. And then we're going to uh, fry it. So we want lots of colour on it really fast and we don't want to sort of overcook it. So it still wants to be nice and tender. So you can see the smoke coming off now. Yep, warm enough. Yep. So pop it in and you want to hear that sizzle as well. Yeah, I can hear that sizzle. Okay. That's right. OK. Yeah, pop it in there. You don't want to overcrowd your pan either, so that's plenty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it a little bit of a season now. All right. Quite noisy. It's noisy. Now we're having a debate before about is it rusty or roasty or what do you say? So roasty. So it's it's a Swiss creation, sort of Swiss German Austrian creation, and uh, and the way they say it is roasty. Okay, not cool. rusty. That's we'll how go, the English say it. <laughs> we'll go with you. <laughs> so you can see you can see here that so that's our roasty there. Uh, we've coloured it on one side, we've flipped it over and got a nice colour on the other side, so it's nice and crispy. And because the potatoes are uh, half cooked, we know when we get a nice colour like this, it's going to be warm and fully cooked. How do you stop them from going soggy? Um, get, get really high heat in the pan, get it nice and crispy, and um, if you leave it in the pan too long to cool down, then it's going to go soggy. Right. So when it's crispy, serve it. OK, nice. And what about if you didn't want to do roste? What, would, what else could you do? Uh, potatoes, noodles, couscous? Yeah, noodles, yep. um, potato mash, yep. anything you want, you know, whatever you like, but okay. it's great with rusty. I know, and that tastes amazing. I had a little nibble before. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be nibbling on your mash, I'll be nibbling on everything. <laughs> right, so you can see now we've got some um, nice colour on the beef there. Yep. Still a little bit under in certain parts, but I'm going to take that out now. So okay. I don't want to get any more cooking on there because I'm going to add it to the sauce later and it's just going to finish off cooking. I've also separately cooked the mushrooms, so just slice them in a little bit of butter, nice bit of colour, and done the same, taking it out. Right, so a little bit of butter back into the pan. Yep, a little bit of butter. I so love how you say butter. You, <laughs> use the same pan. And then some onions. So we're just going to sweat down these onions. So just sliced, sweat it down in a little bit of butter. It made me paranoid now saying butter. <laughs> no, you just <laughs> keep rolling with it, Mark. It's cute. Right, so, right, so onions, butter. 
So you're just sweating them down. So, so the butter is uh, bubbling away, <laughs> softening the onions. And then we're just going to put a little bit of a smoked paprika. OK, smoked paprika. So just a little bit. Mm hmm And then... So that's cooking in the butter as well. So that's bringing out all the flavours. Yeah. OK, so you don't want any colour on this. So you can start smelling it now. I can smell that. Right, and then there's there's, there's always little uh, fun sort of parts in the kitchen which yes. we all love, and uh, this is one of them. So this is a uh, flambéing. So there's a little bit of brandy which is going to give some great flavour in the sauce, and uh, it's a bit of fun. But you've got to be careful. So at home, you've got your pan hot. Pop the brandy in as it comes up. Hey! <laughs> Still got the eyebrow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, just touch it on the flame, so um, that's the alcohol burning off, so that's great. So we know the alcohol's gone, we've got the flavour. Add a little bit of mustard in now. Mm-hmm. And just get that all mixing in. What if you don't have any brandy at home? Could you use something else? Or is brandy the thing? Well, I mean, you flavor? can use vodka if you want, and you get the same effect, but it wouldn't do anything for your sauce. OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, so brandy is it. So, mustard in, and then we're just going to get a little bit of stock. So, pop the stock in. Bring What's... that to the uh, boil, and we're going to reduce that down by half. Yep. And then we're going to finish it with some sour cream. Bring it back up to the boil, bring it down to consistency. We'll pop the mushrooms and beef back in, and finish it with the gherkins. Nice. A little bit of lemon and parsley, and then we'll come back a little bit later and serve it up. So, we are nearly there. Nice work. OK, things are looking fantastic here okay. at Ooh, the yum. Mastercraft Kitchen. Sorry, just barging in to have a look at what you're oh, up no, to. You love your stroganoff, don't you? I do love my stroganoff. I keep telling you guys, this every break we have. I know. Do you cook it out of a packet as well, or do you make it from scratch? I don't make it at all. I just eat other people's stroganoff. It's <laughs> delicious. Oh, look, look at me. I'm feeling so familiar. I'm rubbing you both on the back here. <laughs> no, well, well, that's right. You get some, Mel. You get some very soon. Yeah, yeah. Um, can you split sour cream? Uh, Hopefully not today. OK. Well, you, yeah, you can You could. It. Yeah, I could. I, yeah. I could easily. So Thanks, you, Mel. So Where did be you come from? So I'm going to just bring that down. I like potato pancake. <laughs> nice no, potato rusty. Oh, sorry. Rusty. Oh, yeah, rusty. I've got it. So you can see, see the sauce is sort of coming down now. It's bubbling. Yeah. I'm just going to put the sour cream in now. I'm practising that face that you have when you look at the cooking. Ooh. Ooh. And you know, I'm always... Just I'm always stir that really. in now. You can right. see that. It's got nice and creamy. Well, we'll just as leave you to it, shall we? As soon as that's dissolved, everything back in and we can serve. OK. Now let's head over to the Mastercraft kitchen and see how Mark's getting on with this beef stroganoff. I'm starving today, Mark. And no surprise there, then. <laughs> stroganoff is ready. So the beef's just warmed up, finished cooking, mushrooms are in there. It's going to finish it with a little bit of parsley, some lemon juice and a pinch more salt. Give it a stir and then we'll just serve it with our roasty. Mm. Our roasty's on the plate, mm. nice and crispy. Oh, there you go. You guys are in for a treat today. Always, Mark. We're always impressed. I like this because you made it from scratch, where the ones in the packet don't look like this. Yeah. I, of course they don't. So, so I next don't call time... it a potato pancake. You don't like that, do you? A roasty. OK, a roasty. Roasty. A roasty. Yeah, I'm going in just for a quick try. OK. Seal of approval. OK. Mmm. Mmm. Good? Good. Mm. Better than a packet? Nah. That is so good. I can feel those flavours bursting through my mouth. There's a party going on, and you can do your own at home. Go to the cafe. Glad it's in your mouth. <laughs>